Hello, I am your host, Brujo underscore Anthony 87, woo woo, coming to you live from my living room inside of East Los Angeles in Southern California. I am a Brujo, a Santisimo Muerte, Devotee, Tarot Card Reader, Intuitive Empath, Glamour Witch, and Healer. You can find me on Facebook and uh, Instagram, all under the same name. And uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do a... Um, it's already a YouTube video on on this. There's a couple of them I've seen already. Um, uh, this is basically what I call a um, baño blanco, a white bath. What is a white bath? White bath is a cleansing and purifying um, bath uh, to spiritually cleanse you of any negative energies. And it the theme is all white. Um, there's variants on this. I just did this the very last minute. So, so whatever I have, um, I bought, I did get a little things, a couple of things from the market, but basically you want to go with anything white, pure, clean. So, um, now you can, at least in these baths, you could include salt. I'm using sea salt, but whatever, White, white regular table salt, uh, kosher salt can do okay too. Um, I would wait for the kosher salt or anything too. You don't want it too rocky because you want it to dissolve in the water quickly. Um, this is room temperature water. So that's another thing you want to have. Um, basically the salt is going to be made into holy water, but you can add holy water to it. In fact, it's very um, uh, highly suggested. But I'm going to bake this holy anyway. So I have sea salt, coconut water. This is canned. Um, you can use an all natural coconut, um, split in half and uh, squeeze out the water that way. I just made it simple. It's going to do the same. Um, also, white flowers. I got white daisies here. You could use white roses, white carnations. Um, you could do mums if you wanted to. Uh, you could do baby's breath if you wanted to as well. Um, I would use this most as an offering to the ancestors, but whatever you have. You could do white lilies. Um, you can do gardenia if you like to. Gardenia is also... Um, associated with self-love and healing, um, as well as cleansing too. Um, just white. Um, some variants I've seen of this use rice water. Um, this is basically when you, um, you wash the rice in water to get all the starch out. You could save that water and it's used to cleanse and purify as well. I'm just going to center that a little bit. Um, some other things I don't have on hand, but that's okay. I don't really need it for that purpose. It's going to be cascarilla, which is powdered eggshell. Um, not only it is cleansing and purifying, but it's also has a protective element as well, like the shield, like the um, like the uh, shell of an egg protects the yolk. It could be used for protective purposes as well. Um, you can also add. Palo Santo, um, this is a spray from the um, House of Intuition. This Palo Santo um, body and room spray. It's all organic Palo Santo essential oil and distilled water. Um, if you don't have that, you can use Agua Florida, Florida water. Um, this is just what is in here because I like to reuse the bottles. Um, it's really cool and it has a spray bottle. Uh, really good, uh, sorry. Um, spray nozzle um other colognes you could use is um colonia 1800 you can use siete machos you can use um pompeya any of those is spiritual colognes um it's going to do really well as long as it's associated with cleansing and removal of negative energies um, and then you can add essential oils. I would be very careful to add these. Just uh, one drop goes a very long way. Um, I'm going to add one drop of eucalyptus. 
You can let this house to drive away and cast out evil energies and it promotes healing as well. Opens the path as well. One drop, like, I mean, one, one, one tiny, tiny drop of clove oil. Clove oil not only cleanses, but it also protects um, your aura from negative energies as well. Lavender for healing and for relaxation. And peppermint um, to bring good spirits um, because the Spanish name for it is Yerba Buena. Um, so it attracts good benevolent spirits to you. And um, it's very soothing. It refreshes you. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot another main ingredient. So sorry about that. So the main ingredient, one of the main ingredients, um, the, and that you can include too, is milk. This could be goat's milk could be regular drinking milk, cow's milk. Um, in this case, I really don't drink cow's milk. So I have almond milk. It'll do the same. Um, as long as it's white, basically. Um, I wouldn't do much more coconut milk. You can, but it is a little bit... There, it is a more of a heavier substance, like an oil. It's very oily and greasy, so it might clog your drains. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Add in some salt. I bless and activate this sea salt in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to cast out, drive away, and cleanse of all negative energies, bad, bad, um, evil spirits, bad witchcraft, bad luck ill fortune, the evil eye, all envy, and also protect from all the influences that I just mentioned, from affecting aura, I mean, leaving out the part of the name just for privacy reasons. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, we got our salt in there. Also going to add our milk. And um, milk has purifying. Um, if you look back onto um, like the Hindu tradition, not to really like borrow from that, but it's very similar. They offer milk, yogurt um, to uh, their gods to purify and cleanse their images as well. Same thing. Clothing in white light is like how I like to imagine this. I bless and activate this almond milk in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to drive away, purify, and cleanse of all evil and negative energies, spirits, bad witchcraft, um, the evil eye, jealousy, Bad luck and all unforeseen dangers and accidents away from aura. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. I'm going to add in some coconut milk. And coconut milk. Coconut water. Not for me. Mm, this does have real pieces of coconut. You can strain out um, the bits of chunks and pieces from clogging your drain after you charge this bath on your altar. And here we go. I bless and activate this coconut water, New Father, Son, Holy Spirit, to drive out and cleanse and purify aura from any 
evil negative energies and entities from aura and life. Cleanse up of all negative people, situations, the past, things that are no good to be very blessed this bath. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I'm just going to add one drop of oil, peppermint. One thing of one drop of lavender. One drop eucalyptus. Or a drop of clove. Now be very careful when doing essential oils because you don't want to, you want to wash your hands with this right after to, and you, so you don't come in contact with these, uh, with your eyes, okay? I bless and activate this lavender oil, this peppermint essential oil, and this eucalyptus and this clove oil, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, to help bring good and benevolent spirits to be, to aid in this bath, to bring positive results that is cleansed and purified and get rid of, of all evil and negative energies, people, bad luck, witchcraft, the evil eye, and all that it does serve the good of life. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, uh, may this, the spirit of this lavender bring peace peace of mind, relaxation, calmness, and tranquility, and healing to your Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. May this eucalyptus drive out all strong, um, all evil negative energies and entities from aura. And bring healing and protection to from all negative and evil influences, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. May this clove oil do the same to cleanse and protect from all danger and harm. And may all this negative energy be cleansed away from the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so now we got our daisies. Now I'm going to, just for presentation's uh, sake, I'm just going to take off just the whole buds like that. Three, four, five. Eight. I'm going to do 13. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Now I'm just doing this for pres presentation sake, um, but if you don't want to, just go ahead and just tear the just the petals off and um, just shred them like that. But for presentation sake, I'll just leave them like that. And here we go. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I bless and activate these white daisies to 
how to absorb and remove and cleanse of all evil negative energies, people, situations um, that relate to negativity, that don't serve a beneficial purpose to life. How to protect and cleanse and purify. And may this person may remain balanced, energized, and strong in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you just add some agua forty there. Oh, it smells great. Now I'm just going to turn set my candle. And at this point, just charge this on your altar. Sorry if I seem like I'm closing my eyes. Uh, essential oils can be a little strong. So after you are uh, done charging this, um, I would um, get a bigger like basin or a bucket of some kind to put more water in it. Just so you can dilute it just a little bit and um, pour this in the shower. Um, if you're worried about the petals and the chunks of coconut, uh, clogging your, uh, sink, I'm uh, clogging your sink, clogging your bathtub, uh, just strain it out beforehand, uh, with a fine sieve. Um, and that's basically going to be it. Now, with the, uh, with the remaining, le if you still have leftover bath water, uh, I'm sorry, of the spiritual bath. You could add a little bit into your laundry, especially in the rinse cycle, to cleanse your clothes. Um, you could add a little bit to your mop water to clean your house. Um, you can also spritz it around with like an asperger of some kind, a bundle of herbs like um, romero, abaca, and ruda, if you wish. Um... Uh, that's basically it. You can wash objects like your jewelry that is uh, water safe. Do that too. Um, so yeah, there's uh, some few ways that you could use the spiritual bath. And uh, always protect yourself right after. I would do a protection ritual of some kind just so it protects your aura and yourself from anything bad coming back at you again you know because after you're clean you, you might get dirty again kind of think of that in when you're doing this kind of working so i wish you the very best um um if you have any questions just let me know um i know it's been a good while since i've done any videos i do apologize it's i've been having a lot of hectic things going on um, working, I know, work for the House of Intuition in, uh, Pasadena. Um, so, you know, sometimes Highland Park as well on York, but, um, most of the time I, am um, just mostly at Pasadena, uh, working 40 hours a week. I barely have any time to squeeze in, uh, time for readings or a YouTube, uh, video. So I do apologize um, and I also have a new man in my life, so uh, lots of things have been keeping me busy, which is a very good thing, uh, but you need to, I need to <laughs> take time to just stay still, be calm, and I hope that this does the same for you. So uh, take care, be safe, be kind to yourself, and be kind towards each other. Mucho, mucho, amor. Bye-bye.